Nashville, Tennessee. I taught myself the baseball when I was 13 years old. And I actually, I didn't have any lessons until I was about 26, 27 years old. I was living in uh, uh, Pasadena, California, L.A., Hollywood, that kind of business. I played, played in the jazz band for all and purposes, and I was playing in California. Had a chance to deal with uh, Warren Marsh, uh, another great jazz legend, beautiful tenor saxophonist, Hot Pepper, and those guys, Bill Holman, Frankie Rossellino, and on and on and on. It's 1956, what we're we talking about. What's going on here today? What's going on today is, is it happens every Sunday with my friend and my call to pianist Bob Alberti on piano and myself on bass. We do a jazz brunch every Sunday here at the Western Hotel, a place called the Aqua Star. Now, there's one story in particular, and that's the story of Nelson Mandela and your, well, and your music. So tell me a little bit about that story because that would be very interesting to follow. Hmm. Three months ago, almost three months ago, a guy came into for the brunch here, then they heard us play, and he realized that I was playing here uh, after we played a set. And he invited me over to his table, and he says, uh, my name is Robin Binger, and I'm from Montreal, and I, I produced the Nelson Mandela documentary. I said, you did? He said, yeah. He said, you know, you know that Nelson was in prison for 27 years, and 19 of those years, uh, they gave him Shakespeare to read, and also they gave him a jazz history book to read, which is called Such Sweet Thunder, written by Whitney Billiard of the New Yorker. But I want you to know that you are in the book. I'm in the book, he said, you are, you are in the book. The one that Nelson was reading, the one that Nelson was reading for 19 and 19 of those years. So, wow. Um, you were part of his hope. I was part of his ordeal, man. But you just did an album and... and, and I, I, I was working on my CD at that, at, at that point in time. And, um, and I was, had finished doing the CD. I said, well, you might as well put it all together, and so we did. We put it all together, and that's a part of my uh, liner notes. That the story I'm telling you is also a part of the CD, so I decided to call the CD Sweet Thunder as opposed to Sight Sweet Thunder. I've, I've already sent Nelson his copies of the CD. He received the CD. It's been archived. It's been uh, cataloged, and it's a part of his foundation. A copy's gone to Nelson's office downtown, and it sits on his desk uh, with, with all the other records and then the fine books that uh, she puts it for the old man to read. So I'm quite elated about the whole deal right now. How sweet thunder is that? That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. As a matter of fact, sweet thunder is sweet thunder. Thank you.